Hi Pisces, it's Brandy. I am standing because my office has been taken over. Anyways, this is for June of 2022. It's a general reading. Um, I've been pre-meditating for like a minute or two for you, everyone, right? Um, to kind of pick up just a, a vibe maybe someone needs to hear out there um, before I start just pulling. So, there is something about be very cautious of having these long-standing feuds with people, friends, family. But family felt more relevant of, like, not even remembering why you don't talk to someone. Like, can't really get the, like, why did we stop talking again? All I can remember is that I'm angry. Yeah, don't do that. It carries over with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June of 2022. Spirit. Alright. Um, this is a partner contract. This is a work contract. This is how you relate to people in intimacy and in business. Um, this is also be very... <sighs> Dependent on someone or a bad habit. Wanting to merge but being very unclear about it. Um, but with owning, like what's of real value, okay? And Uranus here. I know. But it's really a genius, right? Of like having this epiphany of what's really important in my life. Do you want to lose this person? Do you never want to speak to them again? Like, uh, maybe it's a job. Like I said, this is a general. You got to apply this in your life. How how it pertains to you, Pisces. Okay, my ascendant, I just found out, is Pisces. Because I'm diving more and more into astrology. So this is like a manic behavior. This is like figuring out you've put you know, value on things that weren't really beneficial for you and you've been spinning your wills, you know, like maybe you've been spending your money on bad habits. We all kind of have that cycle sometimes, don't we? <laughs> yeah. However, this wake up call, this epiphany, this shaky beneath your feet feeling, it's going to lead you to the right person, right path, right job. It's got fate all over it. It's like, once you have this epiphany, it's like those pieces that fell apart. The pieces that fell apart in a little while, they start putting themselves back together in like a synchronistic way. I like it. Like showing your real face. Like, not, not the one... Not the one that you think people want to see, right? You're really just gonna, this is me. I'm taking a new approach. Like maybe you're, I have waged this hate on these people over something that was done a long time ago. We're grown ups. You know, we can either fix it if they want to, or I can move on and release that anger. You know what I mean? Like, what's the real reason? Is it because someone else told me something that I was hanging out with that they weren't good for me? Like, you know, like, what? What's happening? If that resonates, please let me know. Because trust me, when we're here and we're not love, 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 right? Because I'm reality. We need to know because it's kind of, it's hard pulling messages sometimes out of thin air but my ability still comes into play even if I am pulling cards so yeah confidence and standing tall right being that real you showing the real face putting your ideas into action hey moderation at the bottom I haven't used this deck for anyone else um Right, fixing fixing the problem, fixing the imbalance, fixing the dependency, fixing the, you know, patience just is not your virtue, and that's okay. But soon, the success, the dedication, like I said, turning over a new leaf, and all that jazz, huh? Pisces, they're kind of quick. But really, the messages have been coming kind of fast. <laughs> not gonna lie. 
What is something recently in the past that's affecting this future? Okay, okay. Um, Ten of Cups and Eight of Cups. You left what, in your mind, you thought you wanted. Like a choice you had made. Okay, it's very emotional. You are... Yeah, past. You left something behind that you thought that you wanted. Something you thought that would fulfill you. And the present moment, based off this, please, for Pisces. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands, right? Getting that get-go. Getting that new attitude. Getting that inspiration. Queen of Swords. Seeing very clearly, but you see how, like, she's sitting here... She's got this trap, like she knows, right? Here's those dependencies, here's those bad habits, Capricorn. No offense to Cappy. They just overdo things. Once they're on a like a task, they overdo it. They can't you know, no offense, guys out there. But right, there is a person spying. So but dependency, bad habit, really seeing who the culprit was, is um yeah. Okay. Star. That's right. We're going to heal. We're going to go fix this. We're going to go fix this of where this went wrong. Where, where the bridge gapped. Whether that's just being friends or not. Oh, God. It's lovers, though, guys. It's all about a relationship that you strayed from. That's Gemini. Here's the tower. It's someone you blocked and no longer talked to, and you're like, shit. Hierophant. How do I get to them? How do I get to them? How do I get to them? Oh my god, I've changed. I'm so much more. I understand now. Oh, you know, it's all family. I think I understand that aspect now. A family or a friend led you astray. You really, you trusted them. I get it. You trusted them. You you knew they just wanted what's best for you, but really was it what's best for you or what was best for them out of fear. And that's why, my friend, you're just going to have to not hold a grudge because in all reality you let that person you let that person near future based off this the moon here you are the answer to your dilemma and how you can fix this will be in your dreams also you communicate through your dreams with this person Probably at a distance, going off of just basic meanings. This is a new start, but having to bite your tongue and swallow your pride. <laughs> okay? No longer just half-assing it, you have to give your all. No lying, no trying to admit the truth, no freaking out about it with the Four of Swords. Like, you're going to have to take a minute. Because this is last call, buddy. Last call for alcohol is what I'm gathering. Got about six weeks. Six of wands, six of swords. You got about six weeks to figure out what you want to do and how you're going to handle it because half fasting it ain't going to do it. Better come correct, whether that's you or them. Better come correct if you forced me to not be part of your life. If you chose someone else instead of my character, you know what I mean? This is just a general message. Fix the imbalance. Show your real face. Go after what it is that you want. Be dedicated. Don't be impatient. What else, spirit? Oh, that didn't feel right. What else? Ah, your muse. Your muse, your inspiration. It's number 15. It's quite fitting for Pisces, really. Poetic. Poetic injustice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the muse plays a song of uplifting and imagination. The petals of inspiration drift upon the wind, filling the air with light and creativity. It shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and inventiveness for you. Any project, new or old can receive exceptional energy, both from you and the universe. Call to the spirit muses and let them join you in the creator who will lift you. If you've been trying to give birth to something, it's not over. <laughs> I 
no matter what the endeavor, from a business plan to a poem to a relationship, it's blocked. It's a low ebb. The inspiration will trigger your creative action. The outside obstacles that hold your project at bay. You can't rush. I'm telling you now, it's like an urgent, I need to talk, but I'm telling you, whoever this is, you need to take a very patient viewpoint to gather the information of what you want to say and what you want to do, and the rest will follow. Because it's supposed to.